दिस इज सुगे शेर एंड नाउ इन दिस वीडियो विल बी कंटिन्यूइंग इन द सेक्शन ऑफ आर लार्ज इंडस्ट्राइन ओके इन विच विल बी डिस्कसिंग द एनल कैनल द एनाटमी ऑफ द एनल कैनल एज वी हैव डिस्कस इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो द रेक्टम सो रेक्टम एक्चुअली कंटिन्यूज इन द एनल कैनल ओके सो द जंक्शन विच इज कॉल्ड एज एनोरेट एनोरेक्टल जंक्शन फ्रॉम वेयर योर एनल कैनल एक्चुअली बिगिनस एंड इफ यू गो फॉर स्पेसिफिक रेक्टल एम्पुला बिकॉज द रेक्टल एम्पुला इज द टर्मिनल पार्ट and from where actually the uh, rectum narrows and uh, the point where the uh, rectum narrows is the pelvic floor at the pelvic floor and from where the anal canal actually begins okay so you can say it lies below the pelvic diaphragm also and uh, it is present uh, and it is a terminal part of the large intestine okay and if we talk about the if the anatomy if we go inside anatomy it is around uh, 3.8 cm long this anal canal length is around 3.8 cm long okay as i have told you it begins from ano rectal junction ano rectal junction okay begins clear and like rectum it uh, does not contain any specific features okay the characteristic features of large intestine we have uh, which is which are the circulations we have okay and uh, epiploic uh, appendages epiploica is there hostra coli so these three features are not present in anal canal as like rectum okay so uh, that is also a important point with respect to anal canal and this anal canal is actually surrounded by internal and external anal sphincters okay so uh, that will that will actually line the or close the uh, anal canal except during the defecation so during the defecation this sphincter is actually open and relaxes and the defecation is processed clear so uh, this anal canal is actually surrounded by these two sphincters uh, internal is involuntary actually and external is voluntary clear so these are the basic points here and if we talk about the location so it is actually present in the uh, anal triangle okay anal triangle is the specific area okay and passes through the perineum full perineum it passes through and continues in the anal orifice okay so it is actually lying in the anal triangle and if we talk about left and right what are present so it is uh, left and right uh, it is surrounded by a fat filled uh, fossa which is called as ischio rectal fossa so surrounded by ischio rectal fossa clear so this is the location of this anal canal okay so it is extending from anal rectal junction till the anal orifice clear so this was a basic point and if we talk about relations relations what is present anteriorly so anteriorly if you see anteriorly we have the perineal body we have okay so anteriorly we can say it is covered by perineal body clear and if we talk about the organs like in males it is covered by the body of the penis okay and uh, the bulbous part of the urethra spongious part of the urethra uh, in the case of male and the lower part of vagina in the female okay so these are the structures which will present covering the anal canal anteriorly clear so now if we uh, respect to posteriorly so posteriorly it has a fibro fatty tissues are present tip of the coccyx is the uh, tip of the coccygeus is present on the posterior side so these are the structure which will be lying on the posterior aspect and if we talk about the laterally so laterally as i have told you surrounded by ischio rectal fossa so that will that structure will be actually present on the lateral side so ischio rectal fossa is present laterally clear this much so this was the actually basic topography we can say the location of the anal canal now if we moving on to the interior of the interior of the anal canal so now we will be discussing the interior structure of anal canal clear now uh, interior of the anal canal we the, this anal canal is actually further divided into upper part it has two part actually the upper part upper anal canal we can say and lower anal canal okay so we'll be relating this structure uh, this uh, part on the this uh, cross section okay this anal cross section longitudinal cross section we are having so we'll be discussing on that so now just uh, uh, remember the location from where the upper anal canal will be extending clear so anal canal upper anal canal will be extending from your anal rectal junction anorectal junction 
to pectinate line pectinate line okay and this lower anal canal will be extending from pectinate line line till anal orifice you can say or anal verge is a specific structure which is determining the end of the anal canal okay so anal canal will be further extending in the anal orifice clear so these are the important points now relate this on the diagram where is your pectinate line actually clear so now uh, just consider this is a narrowing of this rectum this is the rectum actually as i have marked clear so the narrowing is occurring in the rectal ampulla so this structure you can consider the rectal um, uh, you can say this rectal anal junction anorectal junction so from there till the pectinate line so pectinate line is actually this this area this wavy structure you are seeing this wavy part these are actually anal valves here okay we will be discussing in the uh, just these are the actually structures of the upper anal canal just this just, just discussing after this so just uh, just i am marking the pectinate line here which is the demarcation you can say between the upper and the lower anal canal pectinate line clear and it is also called as dentate line dentate line and it has a wavy like pattern you can see this wavy like structure so this is actually the demarcation so you can say the part above this line is upper anal canal this much part you can say just consider like this much part is your upper and below this till the anal verge this is actually your anal verge okay so from pectinate line till this is your lower anal canal clear this much so this was the main point i wanted to tell you but, uh, the parts of the anal canal now in the upper anal canal we have actually three structures first one is anal columns okay which are called as uh, columns of morgagni columns of morgagni also called as and the second structures is anal valve these are called as valve of morgagni another name and the third structure we have anal sinuses so these three structures will be lying in the upper anal canal okay so this is the main point these are the structures of the upper anal canal so this uh, structure i am marking it here just uh, see this so now uh, anal column so anal column is actually this structure okay you can see this column this column so these are column this is around uh, this are around 6 to 10 in numbers okay it can vary so here we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 here okay so these structures are actually your this are actually your anal column here and these are actually the these are actually the crescentic uh, you can say crescentic folds okay these are made up of mucous membranes clear and between this uh, uh, and below uh, in the inferior part of this anal column we have the valves okay crescentic folds these are made up of and you can see this wavy like pattern here are your anal valves anal valves clear this much so anal valves will be the just the marking of the lower anal canal okay you can say it pectinate line uh, and one more point respect to pectinate line is that this is an embryological marking and with respect to fetus about the anal membrane so this pectinate line was used in the embryological period for the marking of the anal membrane okay so that is why its name is pectinate line here with respect to the embryological but you can also consider anal valve is also the terminal marking of the upper anal canal clear and between these anal columns we have spaces you can see this gaps so this gaps are actually sinuses and anatomy we all the gaps are consider as sinuses so these are called as anal sinuses okay an important point here is that uh, the the glands which are called as tubular anal glands which are present in the sub mucous membrane of the anal canal okay so that uh, uh, glands will be opening in this anal sinuses so opening for those glands will be in the anal sinuses clear so these are the three structures which are present in the upper anal canal and the points with respect to them now we have to move on to the lower anal canal what are the structures so in the lower anal canal as i have told you extending from the pectinate line till the anal verge okay so this much structure is your lower anal canal clear and the part between this pectin that is a pectinate line and one more line here it is present you can see this black one is called as white line of helton 
okay because this is the line from where your true skin actually begins true skin meaning is that the anal skin begins where your hair sweat gland and sebaceous glands are present so this line is actually white in color okay and above is bluish something bluish and pinkish and below that in the anal region it is blackish okay so the line this is white line okay so this will be clearly visible so that is why it is called as white line of wilton which will be devising the above skin is not cutaneous skin that is no hair wagger hair and all is present but below that now the anal region begins where you can say coarse hair you can see sweat glands so basic glands are present so that is why this area is considered as true skin okay so this line is dividing that so this line you remember here one line is white line of wilton and above is pectinate line and between this area is called as pectin or anal pectin okay anal pectin so this is the part of the lower anal canal and the second part we have the anal orifice and that is the lower part of the lower anal canal clear so this these are the structures in the interior of the anal canal we are having so uh, we have some differences with respect to the upper and uh, lower anal canal like in with respect to blood supply nerve supply and with respect to the development okay and lymphatic drainage so let's see the differences here in the upper anal canal okay so i have written it here so first of all uh, with respect to development we have the upper anal canal is developed from the endoderm of hindgut clear but the lower anal canal is developed from the anal pit from the ectoderm so main point here is ectoderm and the endoderm clear now with respect to nerve supply you you know that upper anal canal is supplied by autonomic fibers which are insensitive to pain and temperature okay so in that we have parasympathetic and sympathetic nervous system but in the case of lower anal canal it is supplied by the somatic fibers in which we have specific nerve which is inferior rectal nerves okay so somatic fibers are sensitive to pain and temperature now epithelial lining the tissue the histological findings uh, here we have the simple columnar okay so this actually this epithelial lining is same as the rectum in the upper anal canal but if we going inside the meaning in the lower part of the anal canal we have stratified squamous okay stratified squamous non keratinized you can say okay because the skin in the lower orifice that is an anal orifice the hairs are present so that skin become the keratinized clear now the arterial supply we have the superior rectal artery here Uh, which will be supplying the upper part and inferior and the middle lateral artery will be supplying the lower anal canal clear in the respect of venous drainage we have superior rectal brain uh, which will be draining into the portal system clear because superior rectal drain drains into the portal system so it is it is will be draining from the upper region of anal canal and the inferior and the middle rectal vein will be draining from the lower region and they will be draining in the caval system okay that is in the inferior vena cava and with respect to lymphatic uh, drainage we have the internal iliac nodes here in the upper anal canal and the inguinal lymph nodes in the lower anal canal so these are the differences with respect to specific uh, blood supplies drainage and the development which we are having in the upper and the lower region of rectum clear this much so this was the basic anatomy okay and we have uh, sphincters we have to discuss so in with respect to sphincters we have actually two sphincters Uh, in anal canal first is internal internal anal sphincter okay and this is actually made up of smooth muscles because it is involuntary which is uh, not under our control okay and the second sphincter we are having is external external anal sphincter clear it is made up of skeletal muscle the meaning is that it is under our control okay so this is the main difference between the sphincters and further external is divided into deep superficial and subcutaneous part okay so let's discuss on the diagram so you can see this orange part is actually your internal anal sphincter because it actually goes till the white line of hilton okay you can see it here and it is just a continuation of the circular muscle coat of the rectal wall okay so the same circular muscle coat uh, which is coming from the rectum is is forming the anal sphincter so this is the main point here now the uh, uh, external anal sphincter will be surrounding the internal anal sphincter you can see the deep part will be surrounding the upper part of the internal anal sphincter this one is the deep part and the hole is actually your external okay and the lower part of the anal sphincter internal anal sphincter uh, will be actually surrounded by the superficial okay the deep will be surrounding the upper and the uh, lower 
internal anal sphincters are not a superficial part of the external anal sphincters and the subcutaneous will be actually covering the lower part of the anal canal not the lower part of the sphincter uh, internal anal sphincter it will be just covering the and it will be present below the internal anal sphincter clear so this one uh, orange one is internal anal sphincter and these are the three parts of the external so this is the subcutaneous part because it is present in the fatty tissue area that is called as perianal space so this is the perianal space and in which the subcutaneous lie and it is present below the internal anal sphincter and it will be covering the lower part of the anal canal clear this much uh, clear so uh, just the main difference external is voluntary and internal is involuntary clear and some muscles are also here you can see iliococcygeus muscle pubo rectalis muscle are present uh, which are the two muscles forming the levator any muscle so you can see uh, see them in the cross section of this anal canal which will be surrounding and these yellow ones are actually your fatty tissues clear so this was the anal canal the basic anatomy of the anal canal okay i think it is clear and the important point here are the differences between the upper and the lower anal canal okay and the structures i have told you the basic structure this area is pectin and this pectinate line will be dividing into two parts upper and the lower anal canals thank you do like share and subscribe the channel